Jesus name everlasting father we thank you because you have a plan to save humanity through the gospel of Jesus Christ I ask the oh Lord that this reading of these threats will cause the church to go out and bring souls to your kingdom in Jesus name amen evangelism the strength of the church and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever daniel chapter 12 verse 3. apostle paul writing in roman chapter 1 verse 16 for i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ for it is the power of god unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the jew first and also to the greek one of the reasons the first church was able to spread the gospel of the gospel to the surrounding nations around them was through evangelism acts chapter 8 4 to 8. one of the reasons also that the christians in turkey was reduced to about two percent was because of lack of evangelism evangelism and winning souls is the strength of the body of christ because as well as more souls are being brought to the lord the talents and gifts in those new souls will also be used to strengthen the church and more names will be written in the book of life imagine in a local church where all the gifts of the holy spirit is in oppression the devil hardly operate there now that the end of the world is here and you and i may not see death before the rapture the lord is anxious to see that his house which is heaven is full of souls before the last trumpet will be sound he is calling on you to go out there and bring souls to his kingdom let's see what he told rick joiner the author of the book the final quest rick was taken to heaven and he talked with jesus apostle paul abel lot adam jonah john wesley and other saints all one point at one point the lord looked towards the galleries of thrones around him many were occupied but many were empty he then said these thrones are for the overcomers who have served me faithfully in every generation my father and i prepared them before the foundation of the world are you worthy to sit on one of these i look at the throne i look at the those who were seated i could recognize some of the great heroes of faith but most of those seated I knew had not even been well known on earth. Many I know had been missionaries who had expended their lives in obscurity. They have never cared to be remembered on earth, but wanted only to be remembered by him as Jesus. I was a bit surprised to see some who had been wealthy or rulers who had been faithful with what they had been given. However, it seemed that faithful praying women and mothers occupy more thrones than any other single group. The Lord, the Lord then looked at the galleries and said, Those empty seats could have been filled in any generation. I gave the invitation to sit here to everyone who has called upon my name. They are still available now the last battle has come and many who are last shall be faced this seat will be filled before the battle is over those who will sit here will be known by two things they will wear the mantle of humility and they will have my likeness i look at the lord and was astonished to see tears in his eyes he had wiped the tears from every eye here except his own as tears ran down his cheek he caught it in his hand he then offered it to me this is my cup 
will you drink it with me there was no way that i could refuse him as the lord continued to look at me i began to feel his great love even as far as i was he still loved me as undeserving as i was he wanted me to be close to him then he said i love all of this with a love that you cannot now understand i also love all who supposed to be here but did not come i have left the 99 to go after the one who was lost my shepherd will not leave the one to go after the 99 who are still lost i came to save the lost will you share my heart to go to save the lost will you help to fill this room Will you help to feed these thrones and every other seat in this hall? Will you take up this quest to bring joy to heaven, to me and to my father? This judgment is for my own household, and my own house is not full. The last battle will not be over until my house is full. Only then will it be time for us to redeem the earth and remove the evil from my creation if you drink my cup you will love the lost the way that i love them this question now is to you do you have the passion of jesus for souls look around you many dying souls are around you don't be like the people that we are saved from the ocean but instead of them saving other people they began to marry and to club, which angered their Savior, who came back again and began to save the other souls perishing in the ocean. God looked for those who will depopulate hell and populate heaven. Will you register your name among them? Paul saying in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16, Woe is me if I preach not the gospel. What matters to God now is winning souls, not having a gigantic building for a place of worship or buying the latest car or jet. Those who have the highest mansions in heaven are those who spend their life winning souls for the kingdom. According to the revelation, Pastor Yongi Park, among the four people that has the highest mansions in heaven, are number one d.i moody number two john wesley number three choi gong noon according to the to the own we revelation immediately you see a sinner and have it in mind to evangelize to him or her you are beginning to send building materials to your home in heaven then as you preach to him more materials are being sent to heaven as you continue to visit him and check up on him more materials will be going up to heaven if anybody say he could not go to church because of transportation give it to him those who don't have a bible buy one for them anyone who see on you see on the streets is a treasure to god even the drunkards and beggars, including those terrorists, if they can surrender to Jesus, they can be the David of our time fighting the battles of the Lord. So be a soul hunter and don't ignore anyone. It was also said that the best streets in heaven are for those that win a lot of souls to the Lord. One thing also that gives you more reward in heaven is this anybody that you labored and brought to christ through prayer or evangelism if that man is standing and begin to bear fruits for god you that labor for his soul will be sharing from his reward the bible say there is joy in heaven over one soul that repents luke chapter 15 8 to 9. so keep on cursing angels and saints in heaven to be jubilating through your evangelism remember any soul you brought to christ a room will be added to your home in heaven in case if that soul comes to visit you in heaven also a star will be added to your crown so why are you wasting your precious time here 
without working for your internal joy in heaven. You don't have an excuse that there are no materials for evangelism. The messages of holiness, righteousness, restitution, perfection, holiness dressing, which anyone can use to prepare for heaven, are in holiness revival movement. Buy their tapes and books and share. God has raised Spirit Divine Revival Ministry International with free gospel tracts which you can just request and it will be sent to you to share. But especially in Nigeria, you will only pay for the transportation to your destination. We have translated some of our tracts into 10 major world languages. Example, French, Arabic, Chinese, Spanish, Latin, Russia, Punjabi, Hindi, Portuguese, Bengali, and Hebrew languages. Our vision is to conquer the world for Jesus Christ. Just download them from our Facebook pages, pictures, and reproduce them in your country. Only God will know how many souls we won by doing that. You can share our threads to your Facebook friends, groups, pages, WhatsApp, etc. All is part of evangelism. We have also translated some of our threads into three major languages in Nigeria. Be Igbo, Hausa, and Yoruba, though they are still on the way coming. So you don't have to, an excuse not to spread this gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Finally, the Lord is still asking, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Isaiah 6, 8. Can you make yourself available? Remember, now is the time to walk, to reap your reward for all eternity. Now is the time to walk, so you will shine as the brightness of the firmament and stars forever and ever. Amen. Father, we thank you for us. Many are going to hear this truth, O oh Lord. I pray, give them the zeal to conquer this world for you and bring souls to your kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.